Hmm. Why are they all bunched up like that? That's weird. Hmm. Is that a, a bug? Get it? A bug? <laughs> See what I did there? Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we are going to uh, work on our uh, terraforming index further. Um, so we have uh, quite the forest growing out there now, which is awesome. And what I want to do is we need to start uh, paying attention to heat and pressure again, because we've been working a lot lately on oxygen and, and biomass. Uh, so let's see here. I don't think, oh yeah, and I want to do the uh, the farms and the self generators too. I haven't actually done that. I was going to do some of that off camera, but um, didn't have time. So we'll just get to that when we get to it. Um, but anyway, let's see. Yeah, so we, we currently don't have tier five heaters or drills available yet. So that means, of course, that we're going to uh have to do something just occurred to me you know what would be better is to actually put this upstairs because it's just kind of in a weird spot right there i think <laughs> excuse me yeah let's uh let's put that upstairs we can put it right up against this wall that would be perfect all right we'll turn it this way and we'll put it right in the center Beautiful. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's look at this. So the, let's see, where is it? Okay, tier five heater, we don't get that till 8.3 thousand um, biomass. So we're only at 1.3 at the moment. So that's going to be a bit. Um, and then the tier four drill is, uh, or tier five drills. Wow, that's, that's even further along the same biomass tree. What's this rocket? An insect spreader, interesting. Okay, so yeah, we can't, I don't think we can afford to wait for those things. Um, butterfly display box, place a butterfly larva inside to see the butterfly. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so let's just plan on uh, starting the episode by making uh, some more tier, th uh, tier four of each of those. And um, let's go outside and take a look-see at what we currently have. Okay, I'm back. I had to go AFK for a bit. Um, so a couple things. I, uh, I, uh, oh, fusion energy cell. Nice. I'm not even sure what we use that for. Um, I, in the, at the end of the last episode where I totally screwed up and lost my inventory because I died. <laughs> and not to mention there were, uh, pulsar, uh, crystals in my inventory, like the most valuable crystal in the fucking game. Uh, um, fortunately, though, you know, the game is sending those to us in meteorites, so if that had not been the case and I would have lost those crystals, it would have been a lot worse. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, I, I, I mistakenly sent the silk up in the rocket instead of first turning it into fabric, so I do realize that in case anybody had commented on that. Um, but the plan is to build several of these um, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to keep them in here either. I, in fact, what I'll probably end up doing is just creating another, a whole nother bio lab just for these and line the whole thing with silk, uh, silk generators and then create cloth to then sell. Right. So that, that's kind of the plan for that. Uh, we'll get to that at some point, but anyway, what are we doing? We are setting up some heaters and some, uh, drills. Okay, so I'm just going to pin both of these. So we have what we need. Um, okay, the heaters look like they'll be a little bit cheaper. So let's go grab... Uh, actually, let's look and see how many we currently have and assess the space. We do have room. So we could put one two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could probably do seven more of those. Um, so let's do that. And then we'll do something similar with the drills. 
So that means we're going to need 14 rods. And I'm going to... Hmm. I, I, and I, I sent all my damn rods up into space. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, that was smart. Um, Do I have any more over here? No. These are what I use for, you know, auto crafting there, of course. I mean, we could um, we could do a couple things. I could go pick a bunch of iridium, like in the lava zone. Um, or I could do another rocket or both. We might need to do that. Well, let, let's just, let's see, we can make one, two, three and a half. So three, let's make three right now. So that means we're gonna need three explosive powder. And we're gonna need nine supers. Uh, let's see, super, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that'll allow us to put three heaters down. Also, we do need to be mindful of our power. So we have 513 kilowatts available. These use 61. Okay, so yeah, we'll be fine for for setting three down anyway. Uh, also, this fusion cell thing that we just got, where is that? That's probably something we make in here, maybe? It is. A cell of nuclear, uh, nuclear fusion. Oh, do we? Oh! 80 tokens. So is that the only purpose of this, is to sell it? What else would we do with it? We can't... Can we put those in here to increase the power of these guys? No, there's no option for putting anything inside of there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we do with those, or, or if they are solely for selling, you know? So we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Maybe there's a a higher level machine that requires fusion cells. Drone station. Oh, I wonder if we need to use them to power drones. Or maybe the portal generator. The, the, this is the, actually the thing that I have since found out is what allows us to um, go to the procedurally generated wrecks, which is really cool. Uh, but that's a, a little ways off from where we're currently at. So, let's see. Eater. Yeah, I... I don't know what that sells for. My guess is that it's for selling. Is this just a normal meteorite storm? I think so. Yeah. Okay, uh, anyway, let's get these first three heaters down. Alright, and we want to line it up so it's pretty damn close to lined up. Pull it this way. Maybe to about there. Still want to be able to walk through here. Alright, and then we'll back this up to about. Can we still get through here? Oh, how did I get that off so far? Let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. Not perfect, but it's better. Okay, so we got those. Um, and I wanted to do four more. 
So yeah, we're going to have to go farming some iridium. I think it would be worth our while to do another rocket as well, maybe even two. Let's see what we got here. All right, well, let's do one at least. Um, and I don't remember what it needs. I think it needs silicon. I think it needs three silicon, the uh, engine, probably some super alloy. I don't remember. We'll have to go look. Let's just grab some supers. That might be all we need. That's this guy here. Yep, that's all we needed. This is a pressure multiplier with iridium asteroids. Okay, we'll launch that. Um, and I'm actually going to come out here for a minute to attract the meteorites out here where it's easier to get to them. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to the volcano, farm up iridium there. I will farm iridium from the cave over by our lakeside base. And I also have actually have a, an extractor over there too. And farm up enough of this stuff to, to make four more tier four heaters. Uh, we are not going to need them, though, for the, the drills. And um, I might rethink how we're going to handle our, our selling. Because if the game regularly sends us quartz, pulsar quartz crystals, it might be worth it for us to sell the fusion cells. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I still think it's probably going to be worthwhile to do the, the fabric, though, too. At least at this point, until other, you know, better things like the fusion cell uh, become available to us. That's kind of my thought there. Um... How much super? We, okay, well, we, we've got a lot of super alloy, even, you know, tied up in the rods there. Uh, but we, it looks like we're going to need a ton of it for those Tier 4 drills. And we, we also have a bunch of Oz, too, which is good, you know. Uh, I have Oz, in, in fact, in the overflow here. So, all right, well, I'm going to cut the camera and, and go farm up uh, a bunch of iridium. And then I'll bring you guys back when I have enough stuff to make four more heaters, and then we'll take a look at the drills. All right, guys, I am over in the volcanic zone, as you can see, and I just came across this blue chest, and uh, we got got 100 tokens in there. That's cool that we can actually loot those. That's going to help uh, quite a bit go towards, uh, you know, what we need. Um, so let's see here. There's a lot of good stuff in here. That's easy to make. I have uh, – actually, you know what I could do? I, I brought a teleporter with me. Um, why don't we set that down? I, what I might end up actually doing is just carrying one of these with me all the time, the stuff, you know, to make it. So that way we can set it down and, and quickly go back to base. You know, I think it's worth the extra slots it takes to do this. Uh, we are at minus 1,500. We're way far to the south, uh, just so we can remember that. And I think this is our waterfall base, and this is our lakeside base. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I, th I think it'll be worthwhile to to just carry a teleporter with me from now on um, and go from there. And it looks like we're, we're also out of space here, so we're going to need to make another chest for larva. There's a lot of uncommon and rare – well, I wouldn't say there's a lot of rare, but there's a lot of uncommon larva in the uh, lava zone, just FYI. Okay, let's put let's put you in here. Um, just trying to 
think if any of the rest of this is overflow. I don't think so. We'll put the supers in here. Uranium rod goes in here. Oh, what the hell is that doing in there? Must have been something we looted a long time ago. And I need to grab some iron to make another chest. Iron here. So I guess for that money, um, do we just consume it? Here, we'll look at that in a second. Okay, let's call this... Um, now, actually, I'm just going to do larva 2. Put the bacteria in here, and I'll, I'll, I'll stick the methane in there, too, as well as those two guys. The flower can go in here. And, okay, so do we just, what do we do? Right-click? Oh, right-click. Nice. Okay. Awesome. So we can just instant, instantaneously consume that when the time comes. Uh, let's take a water and a food. We have such an abundance of food. And, and by the way, the beans, looks like the garden plots grow five beans, and they grow very quickly, too. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to do something, and I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, we were putting larva down. We went to do the food thingy. I don't remember what the hell I was going to do. <laughs> uh, let's see how many rods we got. All right. We need a total of eight more. And we have... Yes, yeah, so we need to get... We need to get two more rods to finish the heaters. Okay, so yeah, let's teleport back to the lava biome. And yeah, that's gonna work great, man. We just take this thing and pick it up with us and carry it. I, it's too bad we couldn't, you know, keep it whole to save even a few more spots, but it still works out really good and is worth doing to take up those spots. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna keep floating around the lava area here until I get all the rest of the rhythm that we need and I'll bring you back here in just a little bit. Well, I wanted to show you guys too that the big meteorite is gone down here in the crater and now we have a uh, what's that? Oh, I thought those were like little green larvas. Uh, now we have a, a little island here with some trees on it. It's really cool. And uh, we could even put a, a tree spreader in here if we wanted to. A couple tree spreaders. If we wanted to really get some veggies, ve vegetation. Oh, there's three uh, in here at some point. Maybe. We'll see. Did we ever check that crate? Don't know if we did. I don't think we did. Look at all that good stuff. My goodness. All right. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. It's very cool. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I just finished gathering up all the iridium and aluminum in this cave. And... I was over by this vine here, and I, I've seen this vine before. I saw it when it, you know, first came in, and I thought it was just decoration, but I was over here close to it getting one of the zeolites, and I noticed a climb option. So when we click this, boom, we climb up to, like, this secret area here. I had no idea that this place was here. Um, and it's got, it's like Venus flytraps or pitcher plants or something up here. It's very cool. Um... We can't, apparently we can't do anything with those or harvest them, uh, but nice. We got the butter, butterfly display box. Of course, it had to get dark when I decided to show you guys this too, <laughs> um, but let's, uh, let's just look around as best as we can and pick up the zeolite whilst we're at it. This is the, okay, so that's the way back down. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, nice. I didn't know we could find those. I thought we had to make those, unless that's a, a new kind that we can't make. 
Um, let's get a drink of water here, except for it's not letting me do it. I don't know why. Probably because the plants are in the way. Right, that's right. We're, we're fine on water at the moment anyway. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's just kind of look around up here. Um, wait for the it to get a little bit lighter and see what there is to discover. Besides a nice little collection of zeolite ore. Um... Things are crazy looking. Uh, why can't I drink out of here? That is weird. Okay, so it's starting to lighten up a little bit. Um, what about this one? Yeah, none of these seem to be drinkable, which is, again, just rather odd. Okay, here's a chest. Ooh, that's got some nice stuff in it. My goodness. Including more Terra tokens. Okay, we'll take... Yeah, we'll take all of that. Sure. Um, yeah, it seems like the, the puddles up here are bugged, maybe. Another chest. Production multiplier. Insert this fuse in an option. Production time divider. Holy crap! Look at the trade value on this thing. There's our 5,000 Terra tokens right there. But that makes me think maybe I shouldn't sell that. Uh, yeah, because if, if we're going to set... Okay, yeah, I think it would be stupid for me to sell this unless, unless they're abundant. But I, there's... There are no fuses in this game that are abundant, as far as I've been able to tell. Um, wow. <laughs> Jeez, 5,000 tokens just for that. Okay. Um, I am going to assume at this point that that thing is ultra rare and ultra valuable in the long run. So we are not going to sell it. Um, yeah, we're not going to sell it. What a find. Uh, maybe that's what this secret area actually hides more than anything else. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, let's look around down here a little more while we have some light now. And, uh... Okay, I'm not seeing anything else. But it does look like there's a... There's nothing behind here. It does look like there's a way to get out this way. That was, um, can't believe how much that's worth. Oh, my goodness. All right, where are we at? Oh, we're way up on a cliff above our lakeside base. Okay. Guess that makes sense because we started off from that cave. Um, thought I saw a larva over there. Notice if we go, like, way up high on the mountains. Oh, there's an invisible wall there. Okay. Well, this was cool, man. Yeah, and the funny thing is, too, is that uh, that vine has been there for a long time, but I just thought it was decoration because, you know, most of them are. It didn't even occur to me that we could climb up it until I just got close to it and just happened to see that option. Uh, those are just common larvae. Okay, we're not going to pick those up. I've got too many of those as it is. Oh, wait a minute, though. That's not a common larva. 600% multiplier? Both of these have a 600%. You know, and, and maybe it's, um, you know, because some of the stuff that you can get does scale with, with you know, your level. Maybe it's a good thing that we didn't come up here until now because maybe we wouldn't have gotten that fuse. Oh. Uh, wow, okay. I want that and that and that and that and I guess this we're making those none of the rest of this stuff is super crazy valuable at this point uh, I mean I guess we could take the Nolna seed in place of an iron okay yeah really cool fine um, also we need to take a screenshot of this spot.
So, yeah, probably right about here is good. And as soon as I took that, I just noticed that we have an uncommon larva. I've got a decent amount of those right now, though. On the other hand, we certainly don't need more eggplant seed. So let's, uh, let's grab that instead. That's a common. Okay, yeah, we, uh, oh, we have, we have a water here. Yeah, let's drink that right now. Kind of sucks that we have all these water pools up here. We can't do anything with them. We already looked in there, right? Yeah. Well, here, let's take that, I suppose. Okay, have we looked around for everything we could find? I think so. All right, nifty. That's quite a screenshot too, actually. Yeah, we'll take that as a screenshot as well. All right. So uh, we, we definitely have enough rods for the rest of the heaters and then some. And I don't think I'm going to continue selling rods because you know case in point we ended up needing a bunch of them and i had to restock all of them re-harvest all of them and yeah so and it appears to me like as we continue to advance in the game other things are going to become available that will be worth selling i did look up the fusion cell thingies on the wiki and uh, they are used to make the two things i thought they would be uh, the teleporter for the procedural wrecks and the drone thingy oh by the way the drone thingy did unlock for us off camera uh so we'll we'll take a look at that and see what that is activates the logistics system and allows drone creation i don't know exactly what we use the drones for but i'm sure we'll figure that out and we have osmium robs now which is good because i need to start consolidating those in fact we had another osmium storm and the other thing was this uh leox larva unlocked off camera and you guys saw that unlock okay cool all right let's see we're loaded up here i also have all of this stuff to bring back as well so i'm going to get this stuff back to the base and then uh i'll bring you back and we'll put up rest our heaters and then we'll get started on our drills all right guys um we're going to uh, i'm going to set up another butterfly dome for these guys, 600% uh, insect multiplier is crazy. Now, I know I could take the lower level ones out, but I just, I, I like having them, uh, A and B. Um, each, well, I guess uh, 16 is the only thing they're doing. Uh, as far as the domes themselves go, how much power are they consuming? Well, yeah, but you got to remember that this thing is going to support two 600% butterfly species. So, I think it's still worth doing. Um, let's grab some tree bark. I well, we need one of those. Um, I've got these other recipes pinned. I guess I could unpin them, but that's okay. We need one T2 furt, one normal furt, a Zeo, and two supers. Okay, we're gonna have to make the tier two fertilizer. Don't remember what that requires. Algae squash and two methanes. An algae a squash. Two methanes. In fact, let's just harvest all of that. And grab another methane, put that in there, and these are also extra that I'll just keep in there for the moment. Zeolite and two supers. All right, we will put that, this on the other side. And I'll worry about getting the, uh, oh, that's a rare, nice. Uh, I'll worry about getting the foundations in later. All 
Hmm. Why are they all bunched up like that? That's weird. Okay. Uh, hmm. Is that a, a bug? Get it? A bug? <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, looks like we have a super storm coming in, which is good. Really good. So I'll have to gather all that stuff up. Let's, uh, let's redo these again. Let's put one in first. Hmm. Yeah, I think the bugs are bugged. That's what I think's going on here. Okay, well, whatever. That should have been contributed uh, significantly to our uh, insect growth. Let's go ahead and get these remaining four heaters done. And I also... Um, we had an osmium storm come in that I haven't harvested yet. So I'm going to start setting up osmium rods to be auto-made for us. Whoops. Okay, that'll start auto-crafting those to take care of our overflow. Storm is like relentless, man. All right, so we need uh, eight iridium rods. Okay, to do the remaining heaters. And we're going to need 12 supers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're gonna need four explosives. One, two, three, four. There's a rare larva as well, and an uncommon. All right, let's grab you. And make sure you're pretty well lined up there, pretty well lined up there. Might have put those a little too close. Yeah, we can still run through there. Okay, so that was a pretty significant contribution, I would say, to our heat uh, production. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll pick up that stuff later. Don't know what the hell's wrong with those butterflies. It's kind of bothering me. <laughs> uh, okay, let's unpin the Tier 4 heater. Now we need to work on getting some more of these guys um, and you know actually I guess it was fortuitous that we had both a super storm and an osmium storm happen for that um, so what I think I'm going to actually do then is how are, what, how are we doing okay we're 48% nice how are we doing for power 1398 what do these use 54 yeah okay so let's uh, shoot for four more of those as well and uh, again, I'm just going to go out and gather up all of the osmium and super alloys that have dropped. And I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to uh, set, set up the drills. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put them because they're so big, you know, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. I can't believe this. <laughs> I just finished picking up all of the super alloy and another super alloy storm comes in I mean that's a little excessive oh alright <laughs> I mean it, it takes a good I don't know 
15, 20 minutes to go around and find all of that stuff and pick it up. I mean, again, it's, it's a nice problem to have, sort of, but after a while, it's like, good lord. Uh, alright. Let's set this back to Osmium. And uh, we are ready to set up our... Uh, our next tier 4 drills, but you know what I think I'm gonna do? I haven't really done this yet, but I think I'm gonna pull down the... Here, I'm just gonna put these in there for now. I'm gonna pull down the old ones just because of more for space reasons than any other reason. Well, maybe I'll wait until this storm is finished because, good lord, where are we at? Uh, we're 56% on the way to the next level, which is amazing. Okay, I think it just, uh, chillaxed there. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think we'll do that. I think we're gonna pull down the tier 3 drills. We'll get a few resources back. And then, um, we'll be able to reset these here. And I also, I mentioned this to you guys, I was thinking about also tearing down our old original base too, because... I mean, everything that's over there right now is maybe contributing to 1% or less <laughs> of, of everything that's going on now, you know? So it's just not... I'd like to kind of clean up the clutter, so to speak. So let's start taking these guys down. And, um, you know, we'll get a decent amount of resources back, too, in the process, of course. There's another... Yeah, one of you guys. So I'm just going to take them all down, and then I'll come out and pick all the stuff up. All right, so um, we want, we're gonna need uh, six, yeah, we're gonna need 24 supers and 12 osmium to set up those drills. And we're probably gonna, well, no, we should have enough power. I think I checked that. All right, so, whoops. Let's do, yeah, let's just do the first two drills, and then we'll come back and get the stuff for the, the second two. And I might reposition uh, these guys, too, a little bit. So I think what we'll do with this, you know, since we know we're not going to be able to make it absolutely perfect anyway, I think what we'll do is maybe start on... This line here, I'm looking pretty much due south, or close as possible anyway. Uh, okay, yeah, let's try this. All right, so we're going to grab you. We're going to back up. And... So we'll put you right there. But we're not going to be able to line another one. Well, we might be able to line another one up. We need to... No, we're not going to be able to. Okay. So I think what we'll do then in that, in that case is... Let's put the next one... Yeah, we could actually do this. Just have that one leg kind of straddle the other two to save room, because we'll still be able to move through there. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. It's a little tight coming through here, but we can make that work. All right, let's grab the stuff to make two more, and then, like I said, I'm probably going to reposition the other two just to... Try and neaten them up as much as possible. All right, there's no more Oz in there, no more Super in there. Let's grab those Oz rods. Uh, so we're going to need six more to make two more of those, and we're going to need... 
Oh, that's all full of rods. Uh, we're going to need 12 more of these guys. So currently we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So let's put this one, let's turn it like that. Yeah, like, oop. see, I wish I would not do that. It's so freaking irritating. It r r tries to readjust itself. All right, here. I want the two flat legs up against the cliff as much as it'll let me, which probably it's like that's about as far that way it's going to let me go. Um, then it, oh, well, actually. Let's just go with that, I guess. Yeah, I, again, I don't even know if it's, uh, probably was just wasting my time trying to get these set absolutely perfect, you know. So I don't think I'm going to mess with it. I'm just going to kind of intertwine them and they're just going to be what they're, what they're going to be. Okay. Now let's move this one over to here. And we're just going to kind of merge it in with those. I'd almost rather have them kind of merged and clumped up, but level than at an angle like that. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're going to make that work perfectly no matter what we do. So that one can go in there. Okay. Here, let's just grab both of these. They're still not perfectly level anyways. Okay, that can go right there. That looks all right. And this one... If we turn it kind of like this a bit. Yeah, we'll just scooch it in there. Okay, cool. So we just doubled our tier four drill number. And we doubled our tier four. Oh, we got one more. Uh, uh, doubled our tier four heater number too. So that should definitely help boost our overall terraforming index. Um, is there a nice way we could get you to come in here without blocking my stairs? Yeah, probably right about here. There we go. It's, it's kind of a mess, but I don't know. It's kind of a neat mess. Maybe. I would say. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I think we are going to wrap up this episode here. We're now sitting at 60%. And we're seeing some fairly decent movement on, on that. Um, so I think what we'll do for the next episode is we'll mess with this drone station. Because I don't know, I don't know what we do with that. We'll figure it out. See what what that's all about, and we might we might work on getting a uh, planting some more farms too. Not that I need them for food production, because we have food coming out our ears, but more for decoration and just to have fun with it, you know. Um. So yeah, that's tentatively what I think we'll do in the next episode. So I'm going to go around once again and pick up all this super because I don't want to waste it, even, even though it's kind of getting excessive. Um, 
I mean, because, you know, let's face it, we super alloy is used for damn near everything. Uh, so it does make sense that it's the thing that the game provides us with the most. So, uh, and I don't know if that's something you can tone down. I mean, I'm supposed to be playing the game on intense settings, which is hard settings. Uh, just one step below permadeath settings. You know, so I'm not sure uh, if that's something that can be adjusted. Uh, I don't know, actually, either, for that matter. I haven't really looked into it. I don't know if this game has, like, an any file or something that you can fine-tune fine, fine tweak stuff. You know, configs and stuff like that, so... But uh, with that being said, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.